In the last year, mental health services across the country were made more readily available by changing the Lifeline phone number to just three digits. 988 is much easier to remember. And in West Virginia, contacts, that's calls, texts, and chats, have more than doubled. While that number may be high, it's encouraging to the Lifeline that more people are using the services it provides. We just really want people to understand that we're there for them and that they're not alone in these moments. Anytime you struggle with mental health, a real person who will listen is only three digits away. It's called the suicide and crisis line, but you might just be feeling anxious or depressed and need someone to talk to. It doesn't have to be at your most vulnerable. You can just need someone to talk to. People feel really unheard. And if you can take the time to make a connection and empathize with them and really let them let those feelings out, they feel so much better. And in the Mountain State, the 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline is particularly vital. They say the majority of callers are struggling with a feeling of hopelessness and heavy thoughts. Um, in West Virginia, we have a, one of the highest rates of anxiety and depression in the whole country. So there has been an increased need, but I really think access. And again, 400 of our uh, 1,500 contacts from last month were chat and text. When you call at any time, day or night, or for any reason, you'll be talking to a real person who will listen and provide the support you need. Because even people who think that they have a really healthy social support system sometimes feel like they're placing a burden on their loved ones by telling them these thoughts and feelings. Crisis counselors follow up in the days, weeks, and even months after contact to make sure the people who reach out continue to stay safe. They say although we have Mental Health Month in May and other events throughout the year that spark these difficult conversations about mental health, it's not enough. There are still people who are hesitant to come forward. If you were walking around with, say, a broken leg, crutches would be acceptable for you. But for some of the mental health issues that we're having, because it's not so obvious on the surface, it's easy to discount and say that it's not real. But I want people to really pause and accept that these mental issues and illnesses that people are experiencing are just as real as a broken leg would be. The 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline is also for third parties who might be reaching out to help someone they love. You can call anytime or visit wv988.org to chat online with a counselor. All contact can remain anonymous.